In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a proton exchange membrane that you can use in order to make a DIY fuel cell or a DIY electrolytic split cell. For this project, you will need some plastic that is labeled as PES recycling number 6, which you can typically find in a CD case. Now, both the black part and the transparent part of the CD case will work, but the transparent one is more fragile and it will become even more brittle as you do the process to transforming it into a proton exchange membrane. So I strongly recommend working only with the black part of it. The second item that you will need in order to make the proton exchange membrane is some sulfuric acid. Now, if you don't have access to sulfuric acid, simply watch my tutorial in which I show how you can turn Epsom salt into sulfuric acid. You will need some 98% sulfuric acid. Start by cutting a piece of plastic to the size that you want your proton exchange membrane to be. Then simply dip it into the sulfuric acid. Now sulfuric acid is very dense so it will float so you should use some glass rod in order to push the plastic down into the sulfuric acid. And now wait for four hours. While the reaction is progressing, let us see what is happening. The plastic we are using is polystyrene. It is a synthetic polymer that is made of the monomer styrene. The chemical formula of styrene is C8H8 and its structure is shown. The red circles represent carbon atoms and the gray circles represent hydrogen atoms. As is well known, hydrogen has only one electron and carbon has four valence electrons. Thus, each hydrogen atom must have one link and each carbon atom must have four links. We can notice here that some of the carbon atoms are doubly linked to others and this is what allows for polymerization to occur. When making polystyrene, the double link that is shown is broken open. So now the two top carbon atoms have a free link on the left and on the right so that identical monomers can be linked to each other and we obtain polystyrene. What is happening when we dip the polystyrene in sulfuric acid is a sulfonation reaction. The sulfuric acid reacts with the aromatic ring. This results in one of the hydrogen atoms being replaced by a sulfonic acid group, SO3H, and a water molecule is produced. The resulting sulfonated structure is capable of conducting protons in the presence of water because the sulfonic acid group gets ionized as SO3- and H+. The SO3- part is still attached to the structure and can't move, but the proton is going to stick to a water molecule and form a hydronium ion, which is free to move. That's how the proton exchange membrane works. All right, it has been four hours. So now what you need is a solution of baking soda so that you can neutralize the acid that is on the proton exchange membrane. So let us just stir that baking soda. and just dip the tank in the baking soda And now that it has been neutralized, take it out of the solution and rinse it with distilled water.
And that's it. You have a proton exchange membrane. If you don't plan on using it right away, then you should keep it hydrated in distilled water. In an upcoming video, we are going to see how we can use this proton exchange membrane for either an electrolytic split cell or a fuel cell.